By this time now, we'll be creating color variants for the lollipops with already made textures. Now that we have applied different materials to both lollipop and the stick, we hit Ctrl J to join in one mesh only. Before we go into duplication, we need to subdivide the stick. Go into edit mode Make the inner tube a bit taller and hit Ctrl R to subdivide the mesh. As we did earlier, bridge both edge loops to connect the meshes. Assign the same stick material to the newly created bridge faces. Go to shading layout. Adjust the ambient light if needed by turning world opacity a bit lower. Also let's choose a more convenient image. Let's hit Shift D four times to duplicate the lollipop. Now we select the color material we want to change. Hit the duplicate button and open the new image with a different color. Repeat the process for all the remaining objects. Now we position one lollipop on top of the lid and duplicate it. So we can hide the others on a new collection. Let us rotate and move with the image reference in mind. We add a new empty object and move it along the z-axis I have set my keyboard space key uh, to call for a search box and now I type cursor and choose cursor to select. Then I choose origin to cursor for the object so it shares the same position as the empty one. Apply all transformations to the object and add an array modifier. Choose Empty in the Object Offset pop-up list. Decrease the Factor X to 0.
select empty and in the rotation field we divide 360 by 13 to get the precise space for each lollipop. Recall origin to cursor again. Now hide the modifier and duplicate for the second row alignment and position the object. Apply all transformations and also set origin to cursor. We need 8 objects for this row. And we must duplicate the empty object and set rotation to a new value, now divided by 8. Now let's go for the last array, counting just 4 and redoing the same process. Let's duplicate one unchanged lollipop and place it on top like a cherry on a cake. Align everything if needed and rotate a little bit the middle row. First we need to apply all modifiers. For the final part on this video, we're going to manually change color for each lollipop on the bouquet. Go into edit mode and hit P to separate all meshes by loose parts. Repeat for all applied modifiers. We select randomly the lollipops we want to change color and the source one at last. Hit Ctrl L and choose material to apply the color of the active one.
Finally, we organize all lollipops with the lead in one collection. We parent all to the lead, hitting S on the keyboard. And move it aside, changing the delta X location, so we can place it back again later on.